फाइव सेकेंड स्टार्ट मिस्टर चेयरमैन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट द ऑनरेबल रेलवे मिनिस्टर फॉर प्रपोजिंग नो इंक्रीज इन द पैसेंजर फेयर्स एंड ऑल्सो फॉर प्रपोजिंग नो इंक्रीज इन द फ्रेड रेट्स ऑफ कोर्स द फ्रेड रेट इंक्रीज हैज कम इन टू ऑपरेशन ओनली वेरी रिसेंटली नेमली ऑन द फर्स्ट अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड एट आई वुड लाइक टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट द ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर फॉर दिस डेट इन द करेंट ईयर देयर हैड बीन नो मेजर एक्सीडेंट्स आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू अप्रिशिएट इन दिस रिकॉर्ड द ड्यू केयर एंड क्वेश्चन टेकन बाय द रेलवे एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इन सो फार एज देयर हैव बीन नो मेजर एक्सीडेंट्स दिस ईयर there is also another aspect that if we examine from this point of view we will find that the increase of 50% in the net earnings is not after all a very bad performance here we might remember that the net earnings could be much more but for the two factors about which the honorable minister has complained and about which many times questions were asked in the house i am referring to the ticketless travelling this ticketless travelling has assumed a very large proportion in answer to a question in this honorable house it was suggested that the detected cases ran into some lakhs and undetected cases were found to be perhaps much larger than those that have been detected this has assumed such a large proportion that there must be a concerted effort to eradicate this evil the honorable minister has appealed to the public to help in the eradication of this evil i would make two or three suggestions in this regard one is the progressive use of intercommunicating coaches what are known as vestibuled coaches in the train so that even during the running of trains checks could be carried out without delay in running another is just as we have propaganda pamphlets regarding properties of the railways we might also have propaganda pamphlets regarding ticketless travelling inviting public cooperation or passengers cooperation and saying that wherever they detect any ticketless travellers they might at once convey the information of the authorities concerned another suggestion is that another is just as we have propaganda pamphlets regarding properties of the railways we might also have propaganda pamphlets regarding ticketless travelling inviting public cooperation or passengers cooperation and saying that wherever they detect any ticketless travellers they might at once convey the information to the authorities concerned another suggestion is that a more deterrent punishment than is given hitherto to the ticketless travellers should be given after all it is at the cost of those who are paying fares that this ticketless travelling takes place or the ticketless travellers are enjoying i would also suggest that but for the convenience or active help rendered by the railway officials this world not have assumed such a large proportion and a concerted action must be taken with regard to that also namely instantaneous action should be taken to punish the persons who are involved in help the ticketless travelers the other thing which creates the gap in earnings is the good traffic there has been a complaint that the good traffic particularly the high rate goods traffic is diverted to motor transport i was reading sir a statement made by the president of the road transport association the other day 
Of course, the Honorable Railway Minister has said that this diversion is because of certain reasons that it occurs mainly in such articles that are rated high in so far as the railways are concerned and therefore there is diversion. There is also the facility in the case of motor transport that deliveries are door to door mainly and so there is less of handling and therefore there is less expense. There is also another reason that by and large on the railways there is pilferage whereas in the case of road or motor transport there is less pilferage. The Honorable Minister has stated in his speech that with regard to this particular problem the Railway Ministry is considering what steps should be taken so as to bring about an increase in this goods traffic on the railways. Apart from these, I would also submit that this problem of pilferage should also be tackled a little more vigorously. Apart from the public taking part in it, I would suggest that a considerable portion of the blame lies with the railway men in this matter. With regard to these evils that are existing an easier and more speedy method of punishment and bringing to book the persons who are guilty should be taken in hand. At present, the manner and the method in which these inquiries are held produce delay with the result that all the evidence is destroyed or manipulated and the result is that the guilty people get away with it. I would suggest that in the matter of these inquiries a minimum period should be provided within which time the inquiry should be over. I find that in the matter of these inquiries the method followed is that wherever there is criminal offence involved firstly the matter is sent to the criminal court and after securing conviction departmental action is taken. I would suggest that the departmental action should proceed rather than follow the criminal action and it must be instantaneous.